Welcome to this Factory Talk View Studio tutorial in which we're going to be focusing primarily on alignment. So alignment is a very, very important concept, which is often overlooked on many designs that I've seen in the field, but it essentially allows you to position your objects correctly and allows you to save a lot of time in development, especially when you have multiple objects that you need to copy, replicate, and then make sure that are aligned right in your application. Before we get started with today's video, we just wanted to quickly point out all the great content we've been releasing on the Solus PLC YouTube channel. And this includes industrial automation, PLC programming, as well as HMI development. And if you enjoy this type of content, we would really appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell in order to receive the latest and greatest content we will be posting to the channel. So the alignment tool is only available once you're on a display. So we're going to create a new display for this purpose. I'm going to right click on displays, hit on this new button. And here we have a blank display. As you'll notice, there's going to be a little toolbar on the right. You can definitely drag it somewhere else. That being said, for whatever reason, it's always positioned in this bar, but you can position it anywhere else you prefer. Of course, I'm going to show you how to get this toolbar so if we go into view toolbars and this is going to be under alignment so if i turn it off usually a lot of people work without that tool so view toolbars and then alignment now let's look at how it works with some simple simple objects so i'm going to go into symbol factory and here instead of selecting those buttons let's say you have i don't know some kind of controller system which is displayed and you have it you know let's make something a bit larger so you need three of these on your screen now let's see copy and paste and so you start designing the first one you finish the design and now you're trying to kind of position them at separate widths and you want to position them at separate heights and that's of course the requirement of many objects and you kind of do it by the eye you can also look at the position here x and y but the most easiest path to follow is to select all three of those objects and hit this align top button so notice what happens so the most highest object remained in place and the object the objects which were not at that position followed and aligned to the top so essentially this becomes the reference point the highest object is always going to be the reference point for align top now, if you wanted to, let's say we change these objects and I want to illustrate the fact that they could be different, let's say. So let's give them some random sizes. So you have three different objects and now you want to align to the left side. So for whatever reason, you want to align this way. So you can select all three of them and you can align to the left. So notice what happened as opposed to the other alignment so when you align to the left it's going to be the leftmost object which is going to dictate the optimal essentially position to which you're aligning and the same is true to the right of course and to the bottom so if you select three different objects you can also align to the bottom and you can align to the right and the like i said the most uh, the object which is going to be positioned the furthest in that single direction is going to be the quote-unquote master object now there's other types of alignments that i like really well and that i use very very frequently so let's delete these for just a moment and we're going to do something else so let's say objects for example you create a drawing which needs a text so let's say this is my let's click text here so let's let's say this is my status so this is motor running so motor running just as an example let's do that let's make it a little bit bigger just so we can see so motor running and i want that inside of some kind of a faceplate which essentially is a rectangle so i'm going to go into objects once again and find my rectangle and this you know is going to change colors depending on what it is but let's make it just like a light kind of grayish color we're going to arrange that and send that to the back so now i have this motor running and i want to position this inside of my rectangle but you want it to look nice so what you're going to do is you're going to center align so align center points and that's going to be positioned exactly at the center so essentially both objects are going to be center aligned with each other and as you can see that makes it look a lot neater so i see a lot of people just kind of roughly position it and they you know do something like this but to the 
to the experienced programmer, they're going to notice the difference between aligning your objects. And of course, if you have multiples of these, you can align first and then you're going to make this in a group. And then, for example, you're going to create a lot of these different objects. And let's say you can decide, for example, so let's do a very quick example. So let's say you have a three by three column that you need to make and you're going to align here to the top. And now you're going to look for the position which is going to give you equal distances between these three. Now, I often combine using alignment with this really neat button. I'm not sure why it wasn't in alignment, but essentially space horizontal. So space horizontal is going to give you equal space between your three objects. And as you can see here now, my three objects are well aligned amongst themselves. That being said, what I really don't like about this application is that on this left side you, if you look here there's going to be a different space than on the right side now the there's going to be multiple approaches to this and you can start you know shifting this around to the right to the left you can calculate but the easiest way would be to select all three of them would be to group them and here you have a bar which is essentially of width 765 and if you right click the display settings you'll notice that the width is 800 so 800 minus 765 is going to give us 35 which of course means that the spacing from either side is going to be 35 divided by 2 and roughly 35 divided by 2 is going to be 17 so we can just position that at 17 roughly like so and at this point we can ungroup and we have the three objects position now remember that i wanted to create multiple essentially rows under this first row so instead of you know there's going to be a lot of people who are going to kind of roughly position this in and they're just going to shift this in and they're going to for example copy these four and let's say you want a three by eight so this is going to be roughly what they're going to do they're going to copy this in and then they're not going to spend the time to really align the objects as you would expect. And this is what it's going to give you. Now, if you're really meticulous about the type of work that you do and what you deliver to your customers, you can use the alignment menu and it's really not that difficult to make sure that everything looks really nice and neat. So first of all, I usually do the corners first. I'm going to click on this align left and then I select everything else that's going to be within that same column and I can hit this align left. And don't forget about this space vertical. So space vertical is going to give us exactly the spacing that we need. I'm just going to shift this over a little bit so I can align it to this. Remember that you still need to respect the uh, the higher constraints. So for example, here I noticed that this is slightly lower than this one. So I'm going to align top in order to move this instead of the other one. Now, you'll notice that the kind of difficult thing to gauge is if you have a lot of elements aligned and some of them are to, slightly to the right or to the left, What's going to happen in this case is that I want to align to the top one, but if I press right or if I would have pressed, if I would have pressed left, then those move around. So I definitely don't want that. And the way to do this, or essentially the workaround, is you select all of these objects, you just move them out of the way. You know that this one's aligned and this one's aligned. So now you can select all of them and you can definitely do the align left. And don't forget, once again, the space vertical to place them in. So the space vertical is going to do the, uh, essentially the alignment based on the top and the bottom object, just like space horizontal is going to be based on the leftmost object and the rightmost. Now, we know that this one needs to be positioned. So what I leverage is the other ones that have been aligned. So I can just select the two of these and I'm going to do align bottom and then I'm going to select this with this one and then I'm going to align to the right to make sure everything's okay and I'm going to select all of this align to the left and last but not least I'm going to space vertical so as you can see I have something that is much more presentable much neater than what I had at the beginning and of course here you know if you have an application which has different motors so this would be like motor one and then this would be you know motor two and so so on and so forth but essentially the the point that i'm trying to make and here you can realign essentially these two once again because motor two is going to be a different width 
then motor well they're going to be the same width but essentially you need to go back and realign it that being said you can have a display which has multiple access buttons or status bits or what have you but it's going to be looking a lot nicer so here for example i wouldn't necessarily leave this as is i would probably include a title bar on top of the screen so there's going to be some pixels reserved for that and i'm going to include you know for this pop-up some kind of a cancel button or a navigation at the bottom so it looks really neat spend your time realigning your objects once again to get this into your view so go into view toolbars and this is going to be into in the alignment section and do practice because this requires a little bit of time to get used to but once you're leveraging these alignment functions you're going to save a lot of time on your designs and you're also going to be a much better designer of hmis and people are going to appreciate the time that you spend on making sure things look really nice thank you guys so much for watching my content if you have any questions on this topic make sure to leave them in the comment section below and if you can spend five seconds of your time liking as well as sharing that video if you've enjoyed it that would mean absolutely the world to me and if you have any suggestions for the channel what kind of hardware software i should be covering then make sure to leave that down there as well see you next time take care bye